I'm Andy Mack, Mac Eye Pro, and I'm down at the legendary Stone Throw Studios down here in LA with Guitar Center, and what a perfect environment to be in. This is where some of the last work came from Jay Diller, one of the biggest influencers to ever use the MPC platform, as we know, was Jay Diller. And for me, I've had some experiences with people who are very close to Jay, one of being Amp Fiddler, the other is brother, Illa Jay, where we spoke about some of his techniques. And I was even privileged to look at some of his projects of actually how he constructed his beats and all of the different elements. And again, it was super intriguing to find these things out because his approach to humanizing the beats, how he placed his kicks, his snare, his hats, are still widely used today. And everybody is still using that as the blueprint of making everything from lo-fi to neo-soul. He really did have a huge influence on the whole production community all over the world. Now, one of the most exciting things to come to the world of sampling is MPC stems. And today I'm gonna to be breaking down how you can use stems and how you can make a whole new world of tracks with this incredible technology. So let's dive in to walk you through how MPC stems works directly inside MPC Key 37. So MPC stems, basically allows us to manipulate samples on a whole new level. And we can do that directly from the hardware. Now, MPC Stems is running from the desktop software, but I can control all of that from the Key 37. Let me show you how it works. So I've got a sample up here, which um, I took from Splice, and let me play you it. Now, normally, I would have to use that sample in, in its entirety. I couldn't remove the vocal or the music. It's embedded into the file. But with MPC Stems, we can actually separate this now into vocals, music, bass, and drums, if it had those components. But I want to remove the vocals from this. So all I do, very, very simple process. I can simply stem it out and then use that onto a pad. But one of the key features that we have, which is amazing, I can chop the sample, which is something we all do when we're using MPC. So all I do, I go into my chop mode, and now I can use the pads in real time to chop this sample, then turn it into stems. So now that I've finished my chops, if I go to Shift, Process, and now we go all the way to Create Stems. And here it gives me the options to basically turn on and off what I want to stem out. Now, I'm just going to keep all these on, but I'm going to turn off the Use Trim Sample. This will apply all of my chops on each stem. So we press Do It, and it takes a few seconds to process the stems. And now we finished. Now, if you look, I have the original sample here. But if we move to the left, I've now got chops for the bass. I've got the chops for the instruments. And I've got the chops for the vocals. Now you can see from that, it really does open up Pandora's box because I can now do chops and different pitches with just the vocals and manipulate the music all in real time. So let's apply these and make a completely different beat from these chops. Now, what I can also do is start off with my music and I'm gonna hold down shift and we're gonna to go to convert. And what we're gonna do is turn this into a program now because I've got all my chops already. So press do it. And now, when I go to my main menu, I'm on track one, there's my chops. So I can start making my beat with that. So what I'm gonna do is go back to sample edit, and now let's go to the vocals. So I've got my vocal chops, and we're gonna do the same process, shift, convert, new program, and now on track two, I've got my vocal chops.
So now we've got our components, let's make a beat with this. I'm going to set a tempo, and I'm gonna take it up to 95. Let's lay down a pattern with these chops. So now that we've got those, let's add some NPC swings. I'm gonna take this up to about, let's go 60%, and we're gonna apply this over our beat. And now I'm gonna open up our effects, and I'm going to apply Flavor Pro to this. So we're gonna take a sample and turn it into a record at the same time. So I apply Flavor Pro, and now I can start adding some vinyl emulation over this. So now I'm gonna to go to track two and we're gonna lay down some drums. And again, you can bring in all of your own drum samples, you can use any of the expansion packs, or you can even use any of the factory library. So I've got a collection of drums here. Which really fit the pocket of this type of beat. So now that I've got my kit up, let's start laying down our beat. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add some textures over the top of this groove, just using the same kit. So now that we've got our beat done, one of the other things making this kind of genre is if we go to edit, I can take my <laughs> snare and we can actually turn on don't snap. And what that means is that we can actually start loosening up the beat completely. So you really can get that kind of Dilla sound by pushing your drums back and forward. And it really adds a whole different dimension to the groove. So all we do is just use our data wheel and I'm simply just moving the snare back. So let me play it in real time and you can hear what it's doing. So you can really feel it pulling in now. So let's go to a new track and I'm gonna use the vocal chops that we created from the stems, which are now on my pads. Now we can also use features such as 16 levels where I can hit the pad. And then you can create a completely new melody around that stem that we've turned into a chop. It's pretty mind blowing what you can now do with just a single sample. So let's use this chop and let's add this over our beat.
So that's MPC stems. Now, there's a couple of ways that you can actually use MPC stems. This is going to be the one that everybody uses because we all use sample chops. But there's another way that we can take a track and then we can actually put it onto the pad and repitch the whole sample. So let me show you the process with that one. Again, I've got a track here, but this track has four layers on it. So let me play you it. What I want to do on this one is I want to remove some of the parts, but I want to keep the sound of the loop. You know, I love the sonics of the loop, but I also want to kind of repitch it. So again, I've got my start and end points, but I'm, like I said, I'm going to keep the loop the same. So all we do, we go to process and we're going to go all the way to create stems. And this time we make sure that we got use trim sample highlighted. And now it's going to process the stems for us. So now all four parts of the stems are on this pad. So let's play it, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take out the drums, the vocals, as the sample's playing. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pitch the sample up and then we'll make a beat out of this. So let me play the sample again. That kind of feels good. So let's lay down our sample and then we'll add some beats and some instruments, put some brass on and finish our track. So now that we got our beat and we got the sample running, what we could do now is we can kind of mute some of the parts, but I can also go in and again, we can just add some textures to the sample. So I'm gonna put on Flavor Pro and we're kind of gonna give this even more kind of a vinyl feel, but I'm gonna add some tape dropouts and some crackles to this as well. So we can take it even further by adding our own instruments over the production. So we have our samples, our drums, and then we can use some of the plug-in instruments. So I've got a brass sound here. So let's add that over the top.
as you can see, MPC Stems really brings new life into your vinyl collection. You can go crate digging and find parts of songs that were part of a two track. And now you can separate them, chop up new loops to new vocals to new melodics. It's an honor for me to be able to showcase something like MPC Stems because you imagine what Jay Diller could do with a feature like this, going back to his own vinyl collection and actually resampling and actually discovering sounds that were never possible. So thanks for watching. Thanks for Jay Diller for inspiring the whole world, the MPC, and I can't wait to see what you all do with MPC Stems. So if you want to learn more about MPC Key 37 from Akai and MPC Stems, head over to guitarcenter.com or you can speak to one of their expert gear advisors or you can go down to one of your local GC stores. Thank you.